In this video, we're going to take a look at using an image instead of the normal button that will be rendered for our input of type submit. So in other words, we're going to be using an input of type image. So let's create our form, our field set, our legend, call this image as submit button. And in here, we'll just add an input of type text and call this username, a name of username, and close it like that. Now for the input, I'm going to put type equals image. And now we need to put in a source attribute. That source attribute will be a relative or an absolute file path or URL. As you can see, I've got an images folder. If I open this up, I've got a button.png file. So we need to navigate this directory structure by going into the images directory, forward slash, then referencing the actual image's name. So in this case, button.png. So we're going into the images directory and then using the button.png file. Now, as you may know, when we work with images, sometimes they may not be displayed, i.e. we could have an incorrect URL or for many other reasons. So we need to pass in the alternate text attribute. For this, I'm just going to put submit. So in the case that our button cannot be rendered, we will still have some text saying submit. So I'm going to go ahead and specify our action and method attributes of the opening form tag and method will be get and action, I'm going to put destination.html. Now I'm going to go ahead and create this destination.html file going right clicking on a HTML directory, selecting new file and typing in our final name, destination.html. And in here, we're going to create our basic HTML5 document structure, doc type HTML, our opening and closing HTML tags, opening and closing head tags, our meta tag for our character set, our char set, our character set equals UTF-8, and our title, we're going to put in destination, then our body, and then I'm just going to enter in some text saying this is the destination.html file. Let's go ahead and save this and head back over to our forms.html file. So now we've got our action attribute specified and our method attribute specified as well. So this is now a valid form in HTML. And we're also using the input of type image instead of using the ordinary input type of submit for our submit button. So let's go ahead and save this and check out this input type of image in the browser. So as you can see, we have an image rather than our normal submit button. I'm just going to go ahead and enter in some arbitrary data and click the big button. As you can see, we've successfully been sent to destination.html and we also have our query string. We may also notice we have this x equals 45 and y equals 29. These are mouse coordinates for where we've actually clicked on the button. So if we go ahead and click the back button and click the button down here, per se, we'll see that these have actually changed in value. So I hope you've learned a little bit about using the input of type image rather than using the general input type of submit for a submit button on your form.